The league is returning to an East versus West format for the 2024 NBA All-Star Game. And here's how each team will line up. Giannis Antetokounmpo will be the captain for the Eastern Conference. LeBron James for the West in his record 20th All-Star Game. He's that dude. All right, quick take for you, Stephen A. Do you feel like Steph Curry got snubbed? I do not. Um, I, I, you know, I don't believe that. I think he's an all-star, obviously. He's a sensational player, a superstar, averaging 26 a game. Uh, but the bottom line is, is that the Golden State Warriors have struggled immensely throughout this season. They're four games under 500. And when you look at the rest of the Western Conference, um, I, I'm looking at the forwards. We agree there. But, you know, my mentality is that the guard play, Shea Gilgis Alexander is a league MVP candidate, top three or four as far as I'm concerned. And Luka Doncic is averaging 33 so those were my starting guards and I didn't go that route in terms of and by the way I didn't even have LeBron James as one of my starters and the reason for that was because I put Anthony Davis in there instead of him because LeBron James has made no apologies for leaning on Anthony Davis and how sensational Anthony Davis has been and how consistent he has been so I picked Kevin Durant and obviously Nikola Jokic as my front court players but I did that with Anthony Davis as opposed to LeBron James. Do you want to hear what I have to say about the East real quick? Mm-hmm. Well, I, w- I wanted to ask you about Jalen Brunson specifically, if you felt like he got snubbed. Uh, I'm a Knicks fan. We all know that I'm very proud of the job that Jalen Brunson has done. He's that dude. He's absolutely sensational. I love him to death. But I got grander plans for the New York Knicks, and an all-star <laughs> selection ain't it. I got Jalen Brunson as an all-star, but not as an all-star starter, as great as he has been, because Tyrese Halliburton of mm. the Indiana Pacers is mm-hmm. leading the league in assists, doubling up Brunson on assist. And while we expected the New York Knicks to be respectable, which they've been better than that at 28-17, and 17, by yeah. the way, and I'm very pleased, Indiana is no slouch. Just three games behind with 25 uh, wins this season. And the number one offense, led by the assist leader himself, and Tyrese Halliburton is also averaging nearly 24 a game. So I went with yeah. him as my starter and Jalen Brunson coming off the bench. Yeah. <laughs> Quick take. The Lakers were red hot from uh, last night, hitting 20 to 31 in a win against the Bulls. D'Angelo Russell led the way, 8 for 13, 29 points. Stephen A. Was the hot shooting night for the Lakers something or nothing? Should I be reading into this? No, they have to do it with a degree of more consistency. I will say this. I have to give D'Angelo Russell major props. Um, I thought you couldn't give him away for a bag of cookies a few weeks ago because he wasn't doing a damn thing for the Los Angeles Lakers but taking up space with uniforms. That's it. As far as I'm concerned, he was a, he, he was such a hazard and such a detriment to the team, the equipment manager shouldn't have liked him, okay, for having to wash his uniform because he, he barely broke a sweat. But over the last few weeks, he's been balling uh, big time, and I give him a lot of credit. And when he's playing like that, um, the Los Angeles Lakers are far more formidable, formidable. It makes Anthony Davis look a lot better, and he gets other guys actively involved. And so I think that's a plus, and if he can continue, then the Lakers will be a different story. But right now, they're still a mediocre team until they show that they can make shots on a consistent basis. Mediocre team in Big D? No, in La La. <laughs> I know, it's just, I have that in my head. Stephen A., your Knicks aren't looking mediocre. What's the deal? They blew out the defending champion Nuggets at the Garden. Stephen A., 122-84. Bold well, Thompson I'm, I, and Ananubi scored over 20. That was, a, that was an aberration. You're not beating the Denver Nuggets like that on a normal basis. These are the reigning defending NBA champions. Only Nikola Jokic showed up. Jamal Murray didn't show up. Aaron Gordon didn't show up. Contavious Caldwell Pope didn't show up. Marcus Porter, shit, Michael Porter certainly didn't show up. But that's an aberration. Just an off night for the champions. But the New York Knicks are balling. They're 28 and 17. They're 11 games over 500. Jalen Brunson is going to be an all-star. He deserves it. He's the star of the team. And Julius Randle is no slouch. I'm trying to hold out. I'm trying not to get too excited, but I'm starting to feel it. That OG Ananobi pickup, he had 26 points last night, has been big time for the New York Knicks, particularly defensively. I got to hope Tom Thibodeau doesn't run them into the ground and that they're a bit more effective and efficient offensively once the playoffs arrive. I know what Jalen Brunson is going to do. I believe in that, brother. I'm sorry he didn't get my starter as an all-star nod over Halliburton, but he is clearly an all-star and a star in this league, and I got mad love for him. I have total faith in him. I'm hoping that Julius Randle will play better in the postseason 
okay? And the rest of the fellas will follow. I'm very, very excited. I'm getting even more excited in the days and the weeks to come.